What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Quach, actor, writer, and all nice things. Please, if you have not subscribed, each channel, like, because if you have not subscribed to Alboa Cinema, this is where you will get everything. So subscribe. 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 So now, so now, Karibu to Alboa Cinema. I had to say something about this particular uh thing phenomenon <laughs> so uh, i think four five days ago let's see here safari cops safari con <laughs> yeah so i'm just i just picked a number so yeah so this was the first one uh safari com ceo came out and said that the the <laughs> satellite operators must partner with the existing service provider that means safaricom to you know uh so instead of starlink in opening shop and standalone operation so basically there are private business they are doing their things safaricom have taken over eastern central one of the biggest company but they're telling other companies that want to invest that they must go through them i mean first of all you know it's a good thing this starlink um, option exists within this market because as everyone knows where there is competition the customer smiles prices quality of service improves almost instantaneously and that's what I wanted to show you guys like uh, now I am, I'm just following the what the media has put out so I think sometimes it's Safaricom that puts out there because they basically our media is, is owned by Safaricom in terms of what they pay them but they maybe a lot of this if you see like on mainstream like a nation or whatever this nation they always want you to subscribe i'm not going to use the show much account maybe you will pay email so safaricom wants billionaires starting out of kenya that's basically it nobody wants competition but it's here to stay so what has happened of course immediately there is cheaper cheaper offers and higher speeds so is that thing i saw but now they increased the, um, the speeds of their Wi-Fi. I'll go through the Starlink stuff. So uh, with the cheaper offer, so I'm not going to read that. They don't pay me to promote their services. But I'm just giving you uh, a, basically an, um, an insight as to why this is happening. I think you already know most of you. But, you know, this is something we embrace. And because they say, oh, Safari Com is Kenyan. It's not really Kenyan. <laughs> like the majority stakeholders are foreigners and politicians. So, you know, that, that give me a service. Don't try to get my tug at my heartstrings about my nationality. Give me a service that I can afford at, 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 at a good quality. So that's what, when people like Sterling come, come along, these guys remember that they are not alone because Airtel currently, like, you know, their internet is crap. They have cheaper calling rates, but really, even M-Pesa is taken over. Airtel money is basically just there, you know. <laughs> so then, of course, there was this news of these fellows. They were M-Pesa was trying to act smart. Some people are trying to pay <laughs> through the service M-Pesa. <laughs> Safaricom is creating difficulties. I mean, it's the classic behaviors of monopolies like when people are trying to come into a market they 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 always create their roadblocks because they own the politicians they own the, the, the regulatory bodies and all that even ca was saying oh yeah they they have a right to say i don't know i, I was searching that starlink safaricom let's uh, safaricom oh, so they deny cancelling yeah so you see all the headlines here once billionaire out, uh, Kenya regulators are acknowledged Safaricom style inquiries. Of course, the regulatory bodies are, are owned. <laughs> Basically, it's we can't, like, if the regulatory, because as me, I don't trust them. I've never have. The other day, they were, they were telling us, or oh, even the products that come here, oh, they just go buy a stamp. They don't have to be quality. They don't do any checks, any tests, nothing. So it's it's that kind of wild west kind of mentality so what you are seeing here is safaricom getting jittery although they are still the biggest company i think they are going to shed off a lot of customers especially on the internet and 
Elon Musk is also saying that he wants the telephony. He's coming in on telephony and all those things. So it's direct competition. I, I think he'll also introduce money transfer through X in one way. I'm not particularly sure how it's going to happen. So it's full, 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 full frontal attack by Elon. Now, there's something I saw. Uh, <laughs> Safaricom, I just caution. Go, go away. In you, Jinga Safcom. In, in you, Fala. Where is that thing? Now, now, Starlink has been approved in one, 105 countries already. To give you an idea of what this guy is trying to do, and just let, let's, let's look at, where is that thingy? Let's look at the might, okay? Elon, Elon, ah, Elon Musk, net worth, net worth. Let's see, two hundred and forty billion dollars. See, you, the gapi, you the gapi. Watch out, watch out, watch out, kid, dog, on your dash. Let me show you. Uh, the in the Kenya to Kenya Chilex, see? It is thirty-one, one, two. My friend, trillion, thirty-one trillion Kenya shillings worth. Trillion. Kai. Can't even count that. <laughs> now let's check on Safari Cob net worth. It is Kenya shill eh? One eighty six billion shillings. <laughs> Weird. Anyway. Four hundred uh, KPMG places uh, Safaricom worth at 413 billion. So 413 billion versus 31 trillion. You see, <laughs> if he decides to take over this local bank, he has the financial might and he has the technical advantage. Because that upper safari come looking here, they say there are so many quirks in there. So many corrupt people are to, you know, hiring each other. It's the biggest company. So, you know, the government people bring in their people and there are people, those other people bring in their people. So there's a, there's a cesspool of a lot of mediocre people in safari come. To, to manage us, to need, to make us. But the funny key to systems have been placed. So it's just, these are just dead bodies hanging there. Just eating money, doing deals. But when it comes to service delivery, Mnanza Kusumbwana Nawatu, it's very expensive. The thing is, Safaricom is going nowhere. It will be there. But such a competitor coming in means that they have to be extra careful about how they deliver services. They can't just arbitrarily decide to go and collude with the government over there, and then come and just give you some, some new rules, even your tuna charge sasa. So... This is, I, I needed to talk about this because it affects, especially when you're doing content, you know, and, and you need access. You know, for example, Safaricom, like when things are going on in the country and they throttle uh, the speeds like during the protests and whatnot, things like that now will become real costly because you do that once, people just migrate. Now, I think that the, the entry, what do you call the entry price, let's see. I think there is some kind of, there might be some kind of barrier to entry here on the, the kit of 45k, 45, 500. I think that's, they have some deals on how to get this cheaper and whatnot. But this installation means, but the, the monthly plan is 1300 per month, which I think is about 30% of what Safari is. 30% or half of what Safari is offering. So this is going to be I, I'm I'm curious to see how this will affect. I think for the people who have like companies and what people traveling, what not, who have the tools, this one I think is going to be very popular in corporates because it's like a backup or even a main uh, uh, connection. So there is that. Me, I'm I'm openly promoting this product because I mean, is I have I have just a. Nikonai, something in in my in my head that's against people who are very corrupt pretenders just because you you own you're a mono, monopoly and you own government and whatnot you just do what you own media so all these people like we need such competition so that these people can straighten their act or they die off 
I have no loyalties to companies. Like whoever has loyalties to companies, yeah, actually, I can see poor. Is these are money making agents, and the only way they make money is if they offer you what you want for your money. It's that simple. If you get a better offer, you move immediately. It's not even an argument. All right. So I don't know what you guys think. Please, you subscribe there. You like, comment, share. Tell me what you think about. It. I think generally speaking, people are about happy about this. Customers will always be happy about such a such a thing. So.